good evening and welcome to a new little mini series we're going to do the girls and I um, this is a little sort of recce trip uh, what the plan is for the girls to do most of the fishing here uh, the casting the baiting up everything themselves um, but as we've never fished here I've I thought I'd give it a go tonight um, I did a night on a my normal pit close by last night and had had a result um, two weeks ago also had a really good result on there um, so that's good um, last week I had uh, another mid-30 mirror from from Junction 12 on that social which you've no doubt seen already oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right, let's get him back. Um, and yeah, so I'm on a bit of a roll at the minute. Uh, already learnt lots about this lake. Hello, Dexter. Hello. Um, I came here today and put a mixture of particle out on, on both spots and within an half an hour they were both erupting with rud. There are a lot of silver fish in here. Um, I put particle, boily crumb, a few nuts, uh, whole boily, broken boily and uh, yeah, basically the spots just started boiling with rud. Um, my little 12 mil hook baits balanced ones weren't exactly ideal for that and I soon caught one of about a pound which is a cracking fish I would have loved to have caught it on the float um, so the spots have only just stopped fizzing with rud now I doubt there's hardly any bait left I'm not going to top it up because I think I'm inviting trouble I've changed the hook baits to big double balanced tiger nuts changed the rigs they're now fished over a size 2 hook so um, yeah we're going all out to avoid the rud and uh, hopefully it's not too cumbersome for the carp there's some good fish in here um, good stock plenty of fish I've seen lots today in front of me um, it's a very very busy lake and uh, yeah there's very few swims free but I, I think I've kind of landed on my feet in this swim um, got a nice bit of my own water um, yeah and I've got a couple of good spots really I, uh, if I spin this round, I have one rod just there, 36 yards. That's on a on a nice little gravel spot uh, amongst weed. Just there's a nice big weed bed behind it. Um, don't know if you'll be able to see. No, probably not. But um, nice big weed bed behind it that uh, the fish have been using today. Carp love weed, it's a lovely big weed bed. It's bound to be a good shout. And then the other rod I have there, 42 yards. That's in a silty channel, uh, just the other side of some weed. So a bit of both, you know, that's a bit deeper. One on deep, one on shallower. Uh, yeah. All set for the night ahead. First night on Franklin's. Not the best conditions in the world. It's <laughs> it's been roasting up, but uh, you never know. I think if it's going to happen, it'll be in the morning. So, this night from me. A night from these two, who are extremely tired. It's 
been a good night. Got two mirrors in the net down there. And three bites all in a row just before first light. All on the double tigers. Um, unfortunately the second one, so the first one, um, I lost to a hook pull. It went solid weed and uh, hook fell out. One of the size twos. But um, yeah, another bite and I got a cracking mid-20 mirror. Looks like an old sort of old warrior type uh, beastie. And um, and I got a sort of longer scalier one in the net as well. Fantastic. I changed my mind last night just after I stopped recording. I baited up with like four spawns of bait over each. Just whole boily hemp and buckwheat. That seems to have done the trick. Um, I also baited up just now uh, and had that longer mirror straight after. So uh, I'm all out of bait now. We'll see if we can't winkle another bite. Would have just seen those two carp. It was a 21 mirror and a 25.4, which looks like one of the ones that I've uh, got in my album on my phone. I think that might want be one of the uh, the A team, as you call it. Um, but yeah, this just happened as well. I have another. What a first morning! That's what I'm doing. Size so 4 wide gate now. So yeah. Going well. So the last two I've caught using bags. I'm just flicking them out as the sort of bait depletes. I just think a little mouthful of a lot of attraction around the hook bait is uh, a good way to go. That's just krill and manila crumb with um, calanus liquid and cloudy krill. Simple lead clip. And leads from Mr. Mark Harris, the legend that is. Here we go. Very lively 
at this time of year, so the water temperatures are up, so I'm not going to weigh them or anything. Just get a quick bit of footage. £18. There's currently some fizzing over the left hand. Up. I think that could be about to go. Getting liners. Just topped it up with uh, a couple of sponsor of halibut pellet. I'm all out of bait now. <laughs> Just got a little bit of pellet left. The old double tiger nuts are doing the trick. Got to thank the red for uh, giving me the heads up on that, for being a pain in the backside, making me go to a big tiger rook bait. first trip. Got to be happy with that. And I am. There's a little bell. And there's Dexy boy. They're well behaved these two. It's really nice actually. A chap just come up from the next swim and said, actually made a point of saying, uh, just wanted to say how well behaved your dogs were. And I said, well, all they really do is sleep. <laughs> because that's pretty much all they do. So, I'm not going to give it too much longer now. Like I said uh, yesterday, it's going to be a really hot one. So, Give it to about 10, depending on the heat. Maybe 11, but probably not. Um, yeah, good start. We've been there, you know, well, we caught off both spots. Had like two takes off each spot. Uh, one gravel, one silt. So it's good, it's good. Uh, hopefully, I can get the girls up here to capitalise on that because really. This is all about their fishing, this lake. Um, yeah, I look forward to the first opportunity I get to bring them up here. Look much nicer with the girls holding a mid-20, wouldn't it? I should have carried on recording about uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes after that last video left hander went again that's another good one actually it's like a mid 20 mirror again four mirrors eh? cannot crumble at all right before i get this mirror out i thought i'd quickly show you what i do for my self takes i have that which is an intervalometer i've now set that up so i'm taking 10 shots in one hit, um, delay of 10 seconds for me to get uh, they can pick the fish up, and then three seconds between each shot. So that's all easily programmable. This is only a basic one. And then the camera's here. That little thing on the top there, that's what the intervalometer talks to. Got a 5D Mark II, 50mm 1.4 lens. See if I can show you the settings. Uh, not quite, we'll go in 6.3 and one stop under. Everything's all ready. Mat's wetted down, scales are zeroed, water there, everything to hand, propolis, carp care treatment spray, good to go. 23 pounds. This one's 
got a really sore bit behind this peck. So I'm going to treat that up a lot with propolis after we've done the picks. Interferometer. Start. back. Well, it's now 8 o'clock, 20 past, and uh, it's just gone again. A left hander. A very, very busy morning. It's another mirror, and uh, it's about, about 22 pound, I reckon, on the double tiger again. Crazy carp, soaked again. Oh, what a morning. Right, I've had half an hour of quiet uh, spell now. So I've just sprayed some halibut pellets out over both rods with a catapult. There's still fish cruising over it now, but I think they're on the verge of sort of coming up in the water and doing sunbathing for the day now. Um, I've just, uh, I thought I'd show what I've just done really. I, I noticed there was a few bits of uh, rubbish around the swim including a zig rig with a hook on it which was laid on the floor thankfully it didn't go into one of my dog's paws um but yeah i've just had a whip round and have a look at this stuff i've found line braid fag butts filter tips tea bags loads of wrappers and look at that that's two wet wipes and I'll leave it up to your imagination what the brown stain is on there someone's actually tried to burn it would you believe absolute rotters it's disgusting whatever you do don't be one of those for goodness sake you've got a beautiful lake like this 
you got stuff like that everywhere. Morons. That's number six in the net. And the double tiger again. Little bag of crumb. I just sprayed out pellet over it as well. Um, what sort of planning to be off this time of day, but um, we've got a nice breeze sprung up and we're in the shade here, so dogs are okay. Um, only trouble is, pretty much out of water. Um, so I can have a cup of tea which is literally the end of the world. So uh, I have to make up my mind on that one. Sleeping Beauty. not even going to get this one out. There's no point unnecessarily stressing it out. We don't need a photo. Let's have a look. Uh, give myself sort of 17, 18 for that one. Well, it was worth hanging on. I just had my first Franklin's Common. It's a gorgeous golden one as well. Same rod, left hander. Back out there with another bag. I'm seeing them sort of cruising around over the spot. And they're picking up those sprayed pellets. There's flat spots coming up. I mean, the rudder back, you can see. But, um, yeah. And the carp are amongst them. Happy days. I think we'll get pictures of this one because it's gorgeous. Shot to this side, mate. Be good. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe it, but they're still absolutely having it out there. Liners galore, like pulled out the clip, two liners just now. And uh, there's another. Flat spots, look at this flat spot. They're really searching out all that bait now. I think I've got a number of fish in there. That spread of pellet is... Uh, that's something to keep in the locker. That's really got them rooting around. What a trip, man. 
That comment was gorgeous, wasn't it? I'd say scraper 20, really heavy, dumpy thing. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to make and drink this brew, you know. <laughs> I think there's another bite on the cards. Well, that's about it for this trip. Absolutely shattered, out of bait, out of water, out of food. Starting to get hot again as well. Um, just giving it ten. I always like to give it ten minutes with the rods. Went on the rucksack. Be surprised how many times it actually uh, produces the goods. So yeah, nip in the shop now. Get a can of drink. We get home and plan for our return with the girls. Almost like hesitant to use up our Franklin's luck whilst I'm here on my own. But um, yeah, if today's anything to go by, this could be really fun for the girls. Um, yeah, very much looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.